Hello and welcome to Let's Make Tracks. My name's Peter and today I just wanted to get hold of some track and other bits and pieces for the layout but I didn't want to wait for Hornby to deliver. So I have come down to Margate and the Hornby Visitor Centre to get my hands on some stuff today. So me and Little Red here took a trip down to the seaside and the Margate Visitor Centre. Located in the southeast of England, the Hornby Visitor Centre isn't that far away from where I live, so I made the journey, as I say, to see what TT products I could pick up there and then off the shelf. It's the only retail place where you can go to actually do this. So I was quite hopeful and Hornby did not disappoint. did come here looking for box fans but this is very tempting this is actually sold out online at the moment it's the uh, mobile tank wagon now just as you come in the door to the left just past the tills they've got this lovely double o hornby layout all set up and ready to go from last time i came i remember it actually running but because it was a quiet weekday i suppose they had everything turned off but seeing models like this laid out in front of you is more than enough inspiration to get someone going. Now, I don't know why, but this seems like a really good deal to me. <laughs> so as I sit down for lunch, I couldn't help noticing out the corner of my eye to the left there, the elusive Hornby TT120 layout, which has been going to all the major exhibitions recently. Now, this thing's really hard to find, because as far as I'm aware, it's only been to a handful of shows. But I got really lucky on my visit because uh, the guys were actually cleaning the track. So the lid was off and I managed to get some really nice close-up shots of uh, the locos going round. It's amazing to see what you can do when you put all the elements together and all the landscape comes together. Really, really happy to see this running. But then, just like that, it was time to go home. So see you next time, Margate. Right, so what did I grab today? You know about this. You've seen it. I've got my free coffee inside my rather pricey cup, although it is quite a nice looking cup. So I'll take that. Something less exciting, but still relevant. I bought track pack number one so that I could get some more straights, a point, and was it the sixth radius curve they call it the one that straightens out a point now i bought that because basically they were sold out of the double straights they only had the little diddy ones and i prefer longer pieces of track so uh, speaking of track i also got an uncoupling ramp which i'm hoping is quite easy to install on a tabletop layout but we'll give this a go in a little bit see how it gets on but there's something more exciting that i picked up now i couldn't resist 
I mean, box vans is mainly what I wanted, but with this being sold out online at the moment, obviously this is a popular model, the Mobile Black Tanker, which uh, I assume it's fuel. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's like a fuel tanker. But uh, again, this is an elusive find right now, and they had quite a few of them in Margate, so that was a nice little pickup. My second is the LNER box van in grey, the NE written on the side. They did another one in plain grey. Yeah, I prefer this one. I don't know why. Speaking of any, so there's a theme going on here. I kind of like the way that the the company's portrayed on the side. This is everything I got today, apart from my lunch. I'm going to have a little play, and I'll see you in a bit. Let's get this uncoupling ramp a go. So you get three pieces, a little drawer bar, the fitting and the actual ramp. So according to the instructions, this bit goes in here. Now this end has got a cut out groove, that end is like a stopper. Hopefully you can see that. So that just slides in there like that. Right, this fits under the rails. So where these two joins are here is specifically designed to fit under there. So you just lift the track up, poke that under there. So if you can see those two sleepers fit into there and then just a little bit of pressure and then that is clipped into place. With the ramp, there's that little notch right in the middle there. The side that's at an angle facing towards you, line up that notch with the draw bar we just put in. So these le little legs slip, oh, it's falling apart. Right, so line up those little legs with the hole in between the sleepers with the drawbar lined up with that angled piece and just drop it down and again with a little bit of pressure. You've got to push it back and down ever so slightly. That one's in. I think. Let's try that again. Go for flat rather than that. Right, push the draw bar in a little bit. There we go. I think that's it. Pushing that bar and you can just see the ramp rises. So it's not like the old double O ramps where the thing was up all the time just on a spring. It physically has to be pushed in. So I'm thinking it's designed more for a um, like a point motor. Let's bring in my freight train, Let's see how it works. So I think I'll uncouple between the van and the tanker. So that's about where I want it. So I'm doing this with one hand on my screwdriver and the other hand on the controller because they're a bit far away. Push in tab and then go forward and hopefully, yay, there we go. 
Excellent. So we should be able to get a good shunting system going. And because it's remotely operated as well, the hand of God will be irrelevant. Okay, so that was worth the trip. Like I said, this tanker, I wouldn't have been able to get it otherwise if I hadn't taken my day trip today. The rest of the, gone out of shot. The other two wagons, very nice, very happy. I will definitely get some more box fans because um, I've seen pictures of the, um, what would be the A3s pulling like freight trains towards the end of their BR days. And I always quite like the look of that kind of freight train, which um, as far as I'm aware was quite common on the East Coast when it came to freight, when the, uh, the diesels took over. So yes, definitely we'll be getting some more wagons. Just break this. Basically, I would like a freight train to be the same length as this four car Pullman set. But where? Sorry. So, three wagons is the equivalent to one Pullman car. So, we've got quite a ways to go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, he got really angry. <laughs> the uncoupling ramp does its job quite nicely. Uh, the only thing is, I think it's designed to be motorised more than hand pressed because that, as you saw, that handle there is tiny. So, you need something like that just to get in and Although this one, I'm not sure if it's just mine, but this end doesn't lift as well as that end. I'm not sure if it might need, I don't know, a bit of sanding down maybe. But I mean, it works fine. Right, well, thank you for joining me for episode two. Died. Okay, some technical difficulties there. I'll have to... Uh, address them off camera and then see what the problem is that's concerning i think it's the remote because the little led is not coming on so i'll have to power it down for a while and see if it's uh, finished having a brain fart i'll get that sorted before next episode no problem if anything i'll just pinch my son's controller for a little bit until i can get a replacement if it is as bad as what it could be anyway thank you for joining us me Thank you for joining me. I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. Thank you for joining us for episode two. Thank you for joining me for episode two. Next time, I think we'll talk about baseboards. So what I was going to do was like a modular design so it can all come apart. I'm thinking four, maybe six, maybe the possibility of extending. Um, I've seen one or two YouTubers, which I'm probably going to pitch an idea or two from, but more on that next time. Before we get into the full-on baseboards, uh, there's something a bit even smaller I want to do beforehand. It's a certain competition I want to enter, but um, I'll give you more details on that next time. So, thank you for joining me, Peter. I'm a me. Thank you for watching Let's Make Tracks, episode two, and I will see you next time. Thank you.
Uh, I wonder if that's fixed the problem. Oh, yay! The Scotsman runs again! Yay! See you next time, guys.